hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to uh, use open ai moderation api in this kind of uh, web interface where you can provide a sentence that like i am very happy submit that and you will see the result that it is not toxic but when i change i am not happy i may hit you and you can see uh, you can see that it's uh, more of a violence and harassment and threatening as well so let's get started before we move forward I would like to shout out for Gradio framework uh, developed by Hugging Face. Uh, it is a very easy to implement framework uh, with which you can build demos for your machine learning projects. And we are going to use OpenAI. So in case you don't have OpenAI API key, you should get it before moving forward into the video. And we are going to use this moderation API create moderation and the python code for it is here so now i am here inside my visual studio code and i have created a beautiful interface uh, using gradio i'm calling interface class uh, that takes a function input and output and this allow flagging is just to get rid of the flag button so the input is a text box uh, like this and the output is label so label will take a dictionary where there is a class name and the percentage of uh, that class so when we provide that it will show it in this beautiful way so this check toxicity is a function i have created which is nothing different than this open ai uh, documentation has provided so what I do is that I receive a text, I provide a, uh, the text as input into the create moderation function. Uh, we, get, uh, we get the category scores from this thing. Uh, this is a JSON object which has result and result uh, is a list. So on the zeroth index, you will see that you have flagged uh, categories and this category scores. So I'm using this category scores and then so that, you know, it can show in this uh, chronological order or you can say descending order where the highest percentage is on the top. I'm uh, sorting the dictionary through the values and then returning the dictionary. And finally, in order to run the whole application, what I have done is that I have created a fast API uh, application which has this route, home route, which says that Gradio app is running at slash Gradio. Uh, this is uh, just, uh, I was testing few things. And then uh, in order to mount a Gradio application, which is again a fast API application, you need to use this mount Gradio app. Uh, that will take a fast API app uh, interface and path on which you want to run it. So it will attach the Gradio application to this fast API uh, app. So now so in order to run this application, what you can do is that, let me first clear the screen. You need to use UVCon and then the file name without dot pi, a colon, and then app and i'm using reload just in case i make any changes it will reload the application and when i hit enter you will see that your application is running on this uh, local host 8000 and if i just get the gradio path we will see our interface and uh, i am not very happy i need to do 
something i'm not sure why it came yeah but it doesn't seem to you know uh toxic but in case it is toxic you will see the percentage of the class here on the label section so i guess uh, this is it from my part of the video in case you want to deploy this application on server i have a video on my youtube channel where you can learn how to deploy gradio application on render platform uh, in case you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel that helps very much thank you for watching peace